In order to understand how graph scene and 3D scene work, it is necessary to understand how the config dictionary works. We are going to create a new scene with the config dictionary. We can understand the config dictionary as a set that contains many objects. To create an object in this dictionary, we use the following format. In this way, we have added two character strings to the dictionary, text1 and text2. To use these variables, you have to write self before the variable. It would seem that it is just another way of creating objects, but it is not like that. When we create a method, all the variables and objects that we create in that method can only be used in that method. If we create another method, then you can't use the name of the objects and variables created in the previous method. That's where the config dictionary comes into play. All the objects created in that dictionary can be used in all methods. We see this with an example. Another way to create an object that can be used in any method is by taping self before the object's name. In the case of the scene class, there are already several parameters that can be modified. As in the case of camera config, with this parameter you can change the background color of a scene. One advantage of using config is that your objects can be inherited to new classes. The source code of graph scene is found here, and we see all the parameters that we can modify. Render this scene. The graph scene code has some errors, let's correct it. First, we see that you cannot add decimals, and that the y-axis labels don't look good. 
you have to align them to the left side of the y-axis. The axes are created with the number line class. The address of the labels are controlled with the label direction parameter, and the number of decimals is controlled with decimal number config and num decimal places. So we make the following changes. As an exercise, try to find out how to change the color of the axis labels. I will leave you the solution in case you cannot. You can see all the options that you can modify in the documentation. Let's move on the 3D scenes now. By default, you cannot use this scene. The axis class needs a method called getAxis, so we must add it. Once this is done, we can use 3D scene. You can set the angle of the camera with set camera orientation. Use the begin ambient camera rotation method so that the camera starts to rotate with respect to the origin. To animate a camera movement, use move camera. To create parametric functions, use parametric function. If you notice that the objects are above the axis as seen here, use the set shade in 3D command to see them correctly.
To graph surfaces, use parametric surface. They can control the resolution of the approximations and the color of the squares. If you want to learn more about the use of 3D scenes, I will leave you a list of animations made by Grant that can be compiled using my video How to Learn Many on Your Own and analyze the code to better understand 3D animations. To eliminate the 3D effect on an object, use Add Fixed in Frame Objects. This will look like 2D. If you are interested in making complex 3D animations, I recommend you to use the most recent version of Manim, since this version is not so well equipped.